Benyola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bound. studio to do a remix of that song I think I would definitely sell out fast or maybe not <laughs> but before I step out to do that I think I should ask you do you even remember that song do you do you well there's expo out here because every time that song comes playing we definitely remember the circumstances around the death of Paul Walker and Fast and Furious every time we have a new one we're here to honor him and we try as much as possible to tell him that we remember his sacrifices tonight we're out for the private screen of Fast and Furious, the ninth installment. It's been a long time coming and I'm so excited about tonight because we're about to see some of our favorites on the screen again from Vin Diesel. And yes, there are a lot of great addition. We have John Cena, we have Cardi B. Our fans are definitely going to be storming the building and I'm about to see them. And I will have a lot of people sing that song too. Maybe <laughs> so that they will let me know and we are together going to honor Paul Walker on this particular floor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go have fun. My name is Alesha Moyo Saralua and this is Enyola Badmouth TV. I have the ever gorgeous Antonia Day here tonight, here to see the movie Fast and Furious. How fast and furious are you? Very fast. Show me that face. Very fast. You gotta make that money. You keep moving. <laughs> you keep moving, but how are you doing tonight? Very well, thank you. I love what you're wearing tonight. You wanna tell me about it? Well, it's uh, black and edgy, and that's it. You see? You see that? We're bringing badass to see Fast and Furious tonight. When you hear Fast and Furious, what comes to mind? Uh, blood pumping, fast, fast cars, badass cars. What else? What else? Cars, just cars. Cars! You love cars. And action. Cars and action. So it reminds you of cars, it reminds you of fast, fast energy. Interesting. I'm sure, what, what, what time did you start saying Fast and Furious? Morning. How many years? How many of the episode have you seen? Like four. Which one do you love the most? The one before this one. The one eight. Yes, sir. So tell us about you. I know that you probably had that moment or felt that moment when Paul Walker was announced to us dead. That must have made you feel some kind of way. How did it make you feel? Paul Walker arrested. Dead. Oh, I thought you said arrest. Oh, no, announced dead. Freaking <laughs> question. Uh, when I still think about it now, it makes me emotional. You know, he loved cars. He loved fast cars, and unfortunately, that was what took his life. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. sad. Yeah. And yes, every time I come out to see uh, another part of this franchise, I can't but help pay tribute to him. So we're gonna yeah. do the song together. Before we come to tell everyone who you're looking forward to in this movie, you want to do that? Who am I looking forward to seeing? Let, let's do the song, the tribute together, okay. then we'll talk about who you're looking forward to seeing the okay, movie. that's cool. So you lead. No, you lead. <laughs> no, you lead. Okay, it's been a long day. Thank you, baby. Without you, my friend. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tell you. <coughs> Oh no! Well, that would be who are you looking forward to seeing this one? Cardi B! So you are the Okra? Okra! Okay, she did it, honey! She did it! But, but I, I want to see everyone. I want to see how crazy is Tyrese in this one? I, th I think he is. If he is, I'm looking forward to seeing his stupidity. Um, ludicrous, his, his phenomenal. And there's John Cena. 
Oh, yes, John Cena, you can wow. see me. <laughs> Who else are you looking forward to seeing? John Cena. John Cena, you're a John Cena fan. Let's say if we get treated by everything that we say tonight. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking. Thank you. Thank Have fun. I love it when actors come out to say a movie not Nigeria, and it only shows that there is something to look out for, and we are always out there to check it out. Kulirami is out here. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. And this is Hollywood we've come to play with tonight. How does that make you feel? Uh, makes me feel good. I mean, I've always been a fan of the franchise, uh, Fast and Furious, so yeah, I can't wait to see it. Right. And yes, talking about being a fan, if there were a pack 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, would you still be a fan? Yeah, but by then, probably your children would be the one driving the cars, which is good. Yeah, and I'd probably be featuring in one of them, or two of them, or three of them, or That's four of them. That's what I wanted so. to hear. That's what I'm saying. So. You know, earlier I said we we're here yeah, to look up for mean. All right, so you have favorites on this one, I'm very sure. So tell me, who are some of your favorites in this franchise? Um, all of them. All of Give them. But I, then I'm looking for all of them. Vin Diesel, uh, Ludacris, Tyrese, um, all of them, all of them, including the Asian guy. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing um, Bow Wow now, um, John Cena, and every new face, you know. Uh, did you know that Cardi B is in this one? Oh, yeah, I, I saw that online, that Cardi B is in it. Uh, what's her name? What's this beautiful lady? Uh, the bad girl. Um, Can I help you? Okay, you are worse. Don't worry, we'll definitely find out who the new girl is and we're not going to spill it for you. Right. But when we hear FF franchise, right, there is something that comes to mind and that is John Walker, right? When you heard that news some five, six, seven, eight years back, how did it make you feel? I'm sad now, absolutely. I mean, very sad, but then again, we're not in control of our time. It's a gift and it remains a gift. So we just got to use what we have until it's time up, which we are never in control of. So, hey, he played his part. Uh, we know him and we appreciate his craft. And also, um, every other time we see this film, we salute him and we respect him. And that's, that's good. So let's salute him together with that song that was done to, you know, as a tribute to him. Do you remember? Yes, yeah, together. Let's do it. You're the lead on the back up. No, you lead up. No, yeah, the lead up the back. All right. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. I said it's been a long time. <laughs> from you where we are. Oh, I tell you all about it. I'm sure I've gone to many kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we hope you have fun today. I have Thank, Thank you, you for so taking it. Appreciate you. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going on around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And this really it feels like everyone coming out here tonight with the intention of being in the action film. I mean, we're coming to see the action film, but we are dressed like we are the action film. I love what you're wearing. How are you doing? Thank you. My name is Zainab. And how are you, Zainab? I'm fine. This is amazing. How did you put it together? Bro, I actually got the invite and I was supposed to dress black and edgy and... There you go, and I love it. Thank you very much. Let's talk about your expectations for this movie. This is a franchise that we've seen for many years, and we're on the ninth part, okay? I know if it were a Nigerian movie, we'll probably be tired by now, but what has kept you going when you think about Fast and Furious? Like, bro, every part keeps getting better from part one, part two, part three, and part nine. Cardi B is here, don't see now, bro. I'm so ready, like, fuck you, ready. I like the vibe you said now, bro, I'm so ready. I know you're ready, but who are you looking forward to seeing that movie tonight? Cardi B. Cardi B, please. You I must be a fan. Yeah, yeah, a big fan. Like, Cardi, your people are here tonight. I know that years before now, we lost someone who was a huge part of FF, FF, uh, the Fast and Furious franchise. What would you remember him for tonight? Let's say he were to appear on that screen. Bro, I actually miss this part, like the action, like it's, it's, it's cute, everything, like it's, it's part in the husband part, like when he married that lady, like I'm actually looking at him, but it's gone. It's 
God. Yeah. But we're still here and we're keeping his memory alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, you're going to take me back to that song that was made for him after we lost him. Do you remember? Oh, I don't have a very good voice. Don't worry, just do it anyhow. I'm here to back up. I'll support you. <laughs> okay. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Such a vibe. We hope you have fun tonight. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. It's been a long time without you, viewers, but we're about to tell you all about it. If I go to the studio to do a remix of that song, I think I would definitely sell out fast, or maybe not. <laughs> but before I step out to do that, I think I should ask you, do you even remember that song? Do you? Do you? Well, there's Expo out here because every time that song comes playing, we definitely remember the circumstances around the death of Paul Walker. And Fast and Furious, every time we have a new one, we're here to honor him, and we try as much as possible to tell him that we remember his sacrifices. Tonight we're out for the private screening of Fast and Furious, the ninth installment. It's been a long time coming and I'm so excited about tonight because we're about to see some of our favorites on the screen again from Vin Diesel. <laughs> and they're about to have a good time watching FF9. This is still the private screening and we have another guest here. How are you doing and what's your name? My name is Ogundeli Shola and I'm doing very well. Okay, I will call you Shola. Shola, how does it feel coming out to see yet another part of FF9? Whoa, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing because, you know, the F9 fr franchise is what everyone has been looking forward to and F9 coming, seeing the trailer, you definitely want to see the the movie itself. So it's one hell of a uh, dream come true actually being here at the private screening. Yeah. Someone told me earlier that they are looking forward to see Cardi B in this movie. So I'm going to ask you, who do you want to see? I'm actually looking forward to seeing John Cena. <laughs> like, John Cena playing the villain is like another thing entirely. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing John Cena. I'm a very big John Cena fan. So yeah. Oh, now you see there are so many people to look out for in this movie. Yeah. If there were to be, say, FF15, will you still be staying true to the franchise? Definitely. <laughs> if not Nigerian film, no, now go down tired. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm an actor, so I mean, I, I actually um, resonate with our own materials too. But of course, I'm an action person too at the same time. Yeah. Give me some action. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. You're welcome time when we lost Paul Walker, how did you feel? Too emotional, um, heartbroken. I remember the song that came out at the time. Oh God. No. It's been a long day without you, my friend. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. <laughs> To be laughing, right? But yes, yes, yes. yes. We've moved past that. Oh, yeah, we moved past that. Um, I want to see if there'll be any sort of like interesting throwbacks to him, or just like a bit of an ode to him, or anything like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're really looking forward to it, and I hope I'll be this excited when I come out. I hope so too, and we hope that you have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to me. Of course, anytime. But just a little bit. Let's see what you got. Let's get what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Let's see, guys. She's about to show us what it feels like to be in the action movie. <laughs> no, don't worry, you would. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes! There you go. I love it. Thank you. The energy here is pretty much lit, and you can see all of that coming in from my guest tonight. How are you doing? I'm all right. And I, what's your name? Hugo. Hugo. Good to have you step out to say Fast and Furious. And we're here with a black or white theme. I see you're mixing the two and I love it. 
when you put this on, what vibe was it giving you? A calm vibe, an action vibe. The action vibe. Is that what Fast and Furious reminds you of? I swear, yeah, because back then, my childhood, I loved the movie, like from Fast and Furious 1 to the. So, which is your favorite of everything? I can't say which is my favorite because they are all like, it's just exciting. I swear, from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So, everything they bang, but now that we are saying 9, who are you particularly out here for rooting tonight? Um, so I didn't get that question. Who are you rooting for tonight in this particular one? Is it in the movie? Yes. I'm rooting for all actors. Tell and me some of them. I, I, like them being Dizu, you understand, The Rock. But you understand, may Paul Walker also rest in peace because that guy really made my childhood. Yeah. I was coming there because tonight, one way or the other, we're paying tribute to him. So tell me, do you remember that song that was done for him? Yeah. Um, Wiz Khalifa and I forgot to do that guy. See you later. Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth, yeah. Charlie no, Puth. You are going to do the song together. Let's go. All right. Can you start it because I can't. You will start. You know this deep song? It's is been a long day. Without you, my friend. <laughs> when I see you again. Right, super interview to Paul Worker even as I come to see another part of the franchise and my guests are definitely, definitely excited to be out here tonight. We hope you have fun yeah, yeah. and yes, tell somebody that FF9 is out here. So let's tell them FF9 is out here. FF9 is out here so you guys come through, come through. It's really going to be fun. Right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, this is what you call a choke, like e over choke. Boss lady, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? And I love how you played with the theme tonight. How are you doing? And what did it take? What did it take to put all of this together? I mean, my, my stylist did all of this. I had no hand in this. I just told her I wanted to look edgy, you know, badass. And then she did all this. And I love it. She did a good job, I must say. How does it feel coming out to see FF9 tonight? Um, okay, so I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan of Fast and Furious. So, nine, I just have to say it. And I, I also heard that we have Cardi B. We have Cardi B. We're, we're, getting, we're getting there. You Cardi B fans are all out here tonight. I'm a lover of Cardi B, so what? Uh, I'm here to see my girl. You're here to see your girl. So apart from Cardi B, who else are you coming to see? Of course, uh, Vin Diesel, Tyrese Gibson. Jason Stanton, they all make Fast and Furious. Okay, so I have this next guest looking badass with a touch of purity, which is white. But I love the blend. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And how do you feel stepping out to see FF9 tonight? I love Fast and Furious, so I'm normally late because of my tight schedule, but this, I had to be early. I'm early? I had to be early. I love Fast and Furious, so I had to come in. What it. makes you love FF9 so much? The rush, the energy, the racing, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. So I, I was going to ask you who you're looking for to see. So Vin Diesel definitely on the list. Who else? Um, I, I've seen the trailer, so I'm looking forward to see Cardi B. Cardi B! So do, do, do a signature, uh, uh, you know, thing for me. Um, um, well, how did how you say that? Uh, uh, I did not even sound. <laughs> but again, um, do you wish that one day you're going to be a racer? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I, I just, I just, my hands start getting um, kind of strong because of this, this fast period. So. No, don't go driving cars when you're in there. Yeah. Imaginary car. <laughs> Well, you know, two years ago we had the emotional one, that's the FF7. I think it's over two years now, but we had the FF7 and um, looking at where we are today and how much we've been able to uphold our tribute to Paul Walker, what's that thing you think this movie should do to us tonight? I think it should, um, um, it should, there's this, um, there's this rush 
when you're watching when you're watching Fast and Furious, I feel it should the rush should be like even times two, times two of Fast and Furious Seven because I thought Fast and Furious Seven was going to be it. I now have Fast and Furious Nine coming. Man, I have to be here. I have to be here. I'm so happy to be here. So watching this for the first time, Fast and Furious Nine, crazy. I see the excitement, and we hope that you have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're expecting me to come out shouting, screaming because I mean it's FF9, but yeah, I'm still trying to conceal all of the energy I have inside of me right now. But let me have people express how they feel. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. You want to tell everyone your name? <laughs> Hello. So um, it was mind blowing. Actually, it was mind blowing. And yes, we were screaming a lot. We were screaming. The effect was crazy. It was unbelievable. Right. Especially seeing it in 4D, no, that was you should experience it. Especially uh, film house, yes, you should experience it. Film house, the 4D effects, really nice. It was really nice. It was beyond our expectation, anyways. But I mean, what do you expect? I know that earlier on, before we saw the movie, I did ask people who were the, who were, they were looking forward to see, uh, you know, in the movie. Some people told me Cardi B, some said John Cena. So tell me about yours now that you've seen the movie. Well, I think I just wanted to see who the family member was, the missing family member, because we're always having family members. Yeah, I wanted to see that. And now that you know he's John Cena, how did that make you feel? I'm like, yeah, you guys, you just always outdo, you outdo yourself every time. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good surprise. Let's talk about your favorite scene. I have a lot of favorites, and I don't even know which one to pick right now, but which is yours favorite? <laughs> My favorite? There was a particular one. There were lots. There were lots. I can't point out any. No, honestly, I can't point out any because everything was, was awesome. yes, was awesome. Don't worry, I know how you feel. Guys, we're still out here and the energy is still 100%. Before I leave you, I'm still going to squirm because this movie got me thinking. We'll be back in a bit. Stay right here. Feel like singing a story, man. <laughs> Big J Adams, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. There's so many things, feel and vibe I'm getting. I'm getting the Undertaker vibe. I'm getting the Torime vibe. What vibe did you bring here tonight? I brought Big J Adams. I just, I was even, I was dozing when my assistant called me to say it's time we need to be here. So I just picked, I, all I remember was black. <laughs> I just brought out the turtleneck, the jacket and the hat. And I love it, especially the hat. I've always wanted a black hat. So are you going to pass it on? Not today. <laughs> Say not, not today. Not, not now. <laughs> but let's talk about the FF9 magic. It's magical that we are going to see another part of this franchise. What's that thing rumbling in your tummy right now as you're stepping into the hall? I mean, it's non-stop action. You know what to expect from the FF9 franchise. Um, the Fast and Furious, it's always been fast-paced. Um, Andrew Lanine pumping all through. And it's just that excitement that is the, is the reason I'm here. I don't, I mean, I'm never lucky enough to be around town when these premieres are happening. So um, thankfully I was around this Saturday, so I'm, I'm excited that I can watch it for the first time before right. anyone else sees it. Yes, before anyone else. That's the hype of this particular private screening. But let's talk about some of the favorite memories this movie has brought you away. Tell me, what's it? When you watch it, how does it leave you? I mean, it's, you know, this one movie that opens up with a bang, it tantalizes into such delicious intrigue forged ahead at an increasingly breakneck pace and usually will end at a grooving climax and it's just that um, trust you have for the directors and the producers of the movie that brings you back every time. But FF7 was quite emotional and I'm oh, sure yeah. you know why because we had to pay respect, tribute to Paul Walker, right? When you heard about that news, <laughs> how did it leave you? Because it left me really shattered. How did it leave you? I was devastated to be honest on every level. Um, I mean, we all will taste death at some point, um, whether or not we're young or we're old when we go. It hurts every time. No matter how old, whoever you lose is, you still it still hurts. Do you know what I mean? Um, but just knowing fully what he still, he had a whole life ahead of him. But um, we obviously can't question God. Um, but it was it was it was it was it was hurting to be honest. So now that we are in the future, we're definitely still paying tribute to him. I think maybe that's why we have a black themed event tonight. I wouldn't know. But let's talk about those you're looking forward to seeing the FF9. I mean, I, I, the entire package. You know, to be honest, um, when I watch these movies, 
I watch from a viewer perspective, so I'm trying to enjoy it. But also, I watch from a creative perspective to see one a few things I can learn from it. So, if I'm ever going to be in the position to star in an action movie, uh, you know, I could I could have learned one or two things from it. So, I mean, I generally like to enjoy it, no matter what happens. I think every character brings something special to the table, and it's just it's just that excitement that you know brings me coming back to watch every time. The right to be an FF 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, say to 20, would just to be a fan? I'll always watch, to be honest. You know, because they're not trying, it's not a real life story. So it's it's just the creative mind of the writers and the directors always bringing it to life. And I can imagine the pressure the directors have to surpass the previous one. So for me, that's even the excitement that brings me back every time. You're gonna watch. Oh, most definitely. So let's play a tribute to Paul Walker as we let you go. I'm sure you remember that song that blew our mind. Do you want to sing it for us? No, I don't know how to sing the song. Uh, you do know how to sing VJ Adam? No, I can sing a VJ Adam song, but I can't. I don't know how to sing that song. <laughs> let's just try it together. I'm gonna lead. No, no, no. Oh, you're on your own. <laughs> not with you are not with me in this. It's okay. No problem. I'm gonna let you go anyways. I hope you have fun tonight. Merci. Yes. Namaste. Thank you about people that will be here tonight I definitely would have said IK because I know he loves the rush that comes at FF9 how are you tonight I'm good how are you doing very well thank you it's a black and white themed event and you're digging it out I came straight from rehearsals for Nigerian Idol so no time to dress up no time to change had to come straight through but then you're definitely still bringing on our black and white theme so I love it <laughs> We're here to say Fast and Furious 9. When you hear Fast and Furious, what's the first thing that comes to mind sincerely? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Well, that all comes to mind for me too. But then we hear action, we hear speed, we hear energy. So which of that are you bringing out here tonight? Well, first of all, the, the whole Fast and Furious story is about living that fast life and stuff. But it's also about family. They're very big on family. So all the things I love, the speed, the action, um, and the family and I'm always about that everywhere I go. I like things that happen fast I like things that are about family. Right great. I think that's a new angle to it that most people did not check out for tonight I can brought it always I can always <laughs> But again two years um, Fast and Furious 7 rather I was almost gonna say two years ago But I think it's more than that now we had this chill in our system and that's because we had to remember and honor Paul Walker When that news came to you, how did you react? I, I didn't immediately think about, oh, what's going to happen to the franchise or the movie. I just thought, oh, shame. This was somebody that was on his rise, you know. He had just, he had, he had started to really make his rise. Um, and thanks to Fast and Furious, you know, no doubt. But it was just sad to see somebody get caught up in what I thought was their prime. So that was the first thing that came to my mind. And then later I started to think, does that bring an end to the franchise? But being a businessman myself, I knew it wouldn't. I just wanted to see how they would move forward. And they've done it very decently. They didn't kill his character. You know, they, that would have been the easiest thing to do, to kill off his character. But the writers honored him by making him ride off instead of killing his character, which was brilliant. Brilliant, it says. And yes, one song gets us thinking about Paul Walker every time. Do you remember the song? It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I must say, it's coming from the Nigerian Idol. So what were you expecting? <laughs> the best voice tonight on this carpet. I give it to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you so much for talking to us. But I know you know there's a twist to this one. And most Nigerian females are out here tonight because there is a Cardi B on this one. There's a what? Cardi B. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So thanks for informing me. That's going to be interesting. Oh, grrr. You see, I wanted him to do that and he did it. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Tokwe is out here. She just got the FF9 experience. Tokwe, how is it doing in your body? I really enjoyed it. It was fun. I liked all the effects. It was really nice. I was, of course, I was like anticipating something good and then I got that. So I really enjoyed it. Do you think it's worth the hype? Yes, it is. It is, actually. It was very, very nice. How many times did you scream? <laughs> I can't count. I actually can't count. It was really nice. So give me an example of your scream in there. Like, just just bring it out here right now. Like, oh! 
that face, that's the face. <laughs> but now that you've seen the movie, what do you think is the major lesson, you know, people would come take out of it when it eventually hits the cinema official? Okay, I think it has to do with family. Like at the end of the day, your family is your family. They're not going anywhere. You're not leaving them. That's it. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. All right, Dr. thank you for talking to us. And yes, tell people to come to this movie, yeah? Of course, they should come and see. It's really nice. Thank you. Nice, thank you so much. All right, you heard it right there. FF9 was lit. Definitely what the hype. I told you I'm still going to scream before I leave here. So it was... Ah! <laughs> I screamed a lot. I have so many favorite moments. I won't spill the tea right now because you need to come out to the cinema to see the movie from June 25th. Well, that's the date we heard. Yeah, it's coming to the Nigerian cinema. So yeah. Watch out for that one, and when you watch it, you should let us know what you think about it because you watched it right here first on Aniola Badmos TV. My name is Elisha Muyasorolua. It's time to go. I'm definitely going to see you again, but trust us, it's not going to be too long. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Aniola Badmos, and of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Aniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Enola Badmos TV entertainment without bad